Welcome to a special edition of DP News. Here in Long Beach, we've been looking at different ways that people of the city express themselves. Selling foods and crafts at the farmer's market, vintage fashion and outdoor sports are just a few of the ways locals are expressing themselves daily. I'm Becca. And I'm Connor. This is DP News. And it starts now. now. Hey, SDN. As the seventh largest city in California, Long Beach has all the big city experiences with a beach town vibe. Behind us is the iconic Queen Mary. At five times the size of the Titanic, the ship delivered troops, immigrants, and dignitaries all across the world. Now it's a destination for many visitors. And what truly makes the city so special are its people. And their individual styles and personalities. Our Christopher Pagliaro met up with the sole owner of Far Outfit, a vintage clothing store. Hey, SDN. I'm Chris here at Far Outfit, a local vintage clothing store located at 4th Street here in Long Beach, where their main goal is to do good and feel good. Far Out is a store with unique and intricate items made for all types of people. We cut up with the owner, Joanna Moynihan, for more information about this small business. I think I've always just been into clothing and fashion, so it was just a moment where I had moved to Long Beach and there was a, a spot that opened up. I had been doing it for years in pop-up locations and flea markets and online, and it was just the right time to, to actually open a storefront. The name of the store actually came from my husband. He's a musician, and he had the name for our outfit for one of his uh, music projects. Welcome to this far outfit. Come on and relax a you know, I get older ladies that come in looking for cute vintage dresses, and I get the 12 to 20-something group that are vintage t-shirts and jeans. I, I never had a job so long. <laughs> uh, I've worked at places, I don't know, four years tops, and this has been open for, I think, eight years, going on eight years now. I have it. It's my personality. If you like me, you'll like the store. <laughs> Joanna wants to bring all of her one-of-a-kind pieces to the market to help others express themselves and their diversity. She believes that fast fashion and its growing popularity is unauthentic and takes away from the individuality and form of expression that fashion is for so many people. Everyone is unique, and Joanna thinks clothing can reflect that. She's aiming to change the universe with her small business. I'm Chris Pagliaro, reporting for DP News. Wow, that store offers so many vintage items for people to enjoy. Speaking of vintage, a local music store called Fingerprints Music offers vinyl, CDs, and DVDs from various musicians and artists. Reporter Aiden Myers met up with a woman who has a passion for music. Good morning, I'm Aiden Myers. I'm standing outside of Fingerprints Record Store, Long Beach's favorite music store, to find out why people keep coming back. Let's find out. What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to a lot of alternative rock, a lot of like funk and hardcore, emo stuff, <laughs> mostly. Um, everyone in here has an eclectic taste, so everyone has something different that they're into. But yeah, I like a lot of alternative. Can you, can you show us one of your favorite albums so we can like record oh, you? Sure, grab it in it's from a band called Anxious. They're from Connecticut, kind of an emo band. <laughs> They draw from like 90s emo, alternative rock, they're really cool. I feel like music is one of the constants that keeps people connected to each other. It's definitely been really comforting for everyone, I feel like. It's been a huge part of my life, and especially over this pandemic. I feel like music is one of the constants that keeps people connected to each other. But yeah, it definitely shapes me as a person. Be sure to check out the Fingerprint Record Store here in Long Beach. This has been Aiden Myers for DP News. The local farmer's market is bursting with colorful personalities and assortments of different grown and created items. Including one local pasta maker from France. This is Mia Brown for DP News. Today we're heading downtown to the farmer's market in Long Beach. It's a great location right across from 3rd Street and it has many different vendors. From apples and oranges to pasta, bread, plants, flowers and more. It's a quick and easy way to support the Long Beach community. We're joined by a merchant here who makes her own pasta. I live here now, but I am from France. I moved to the U.S. Uh, three years ago now. Long Beach is a really great city. Weather is perfect. A um, lot of things to do, a lot of things to see. <laughs> There's a lot of fresh pasta in uh, Europe, especially France and Italy. And when I moved here, I couldn't find what I really wanted to eat. 
Uh, so I just decided to start making my own. My family is French and Italian, so I would see my grandma make fresh pasta. Uh, so I kind of like took on that. <laughs> this has been Mia Brown for DP News. One amazing thing about art is it comes in many different forms. And if you look close enough, you may even see a few murals painted around the city. These paintings are a part of a week-long event that takes place during the summer called Pow Wow Long Beach. The event brings together local artists to paint large murals along the sides of buildings. Together, the event has been able to paint over 40 miles of the city. They are a great place to take pictures as you walk around. As you may know, the most famous event with wheels that takes place here is the Grand Prix of Long Beach, a world-renowned annual Indy Car Series race. But another sport on wheels that's important to this city is skating. Lucas Ginder rolled with some local skaters for a while to get to know the culture here in Long Beach. In 2015, the local skateboarders of Long Beach built the infrastructure, which makes this park a humble abode for the strong community of Long Beach. Uh, I got into it when I was playing video games. Uh, I didn't know anything about skateboarding other than you can get the board off the ground. It definitely quiets down the mind, any anxiety. I, I can just step on my board and just put on some music and just flow. Just all I think about every time I see stairs or a handrail or a skate park is just constantly in my head and I just want to go skate something. All right, I've gotten hurt. A lot of times my ankles are a little messed up and I keep getting hurt and hurt and so I have to continually relearn tricks here at the park. But if you do physical therapy and take good care of yourself, you should be fine. Big thanks to Alfonso Lopez for sharing a big part of his life over here at Cherry Park. With DP News, I'm Lucas Ginder. I don't know about you, Becca, but that very old heel flip blew me away. Yeah, that was impressive. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this special edition of DP News. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.